We're going back to the moon, and an astronaut with ties to West Michigan will play a major role in that historic return. Yesterday, NASA announced veteran astronaut Christina Cook will be part of Artemis II, a mission that will take the crew to the moon's orbit for the first time in over half a century today. News 8's Joe LaFergie had an opportunity to talk to her about the mission and her part in making history. The return to the moon planned for November of 2024 will mark a historic moment for our country's space program and the chance of a lifetime for Christina Cook. It's what I always dreamed of. The scientist who spent her formative years working on the family's orchard near Sparta will soon take part in the next great space adventure. And lift off. Taking in a view of Earth only a handful of humans have ever seen. Being able to see it as illuminated from the sun in phase as one little thing in, in the window will be very different than looking at it from the space station. And that perspective, I think, is a really important part of this mission. NASA veteran Christina Cook will be the first American woman assigned to a lunar mission. Artemis II will orbit the moon in preparation for Artemis III's eventual lunar landing. Cook will serve as a mission specialist. Basically, just being a crew member and making sure that we've thought about every way that the mission can be as good as it can be for the next crew that's going to be taking the same vehicle and eventually landing on the moon. The Artemis program is designed as a platform that will return humans to the moon as a stepping stone for future human missions to Mars. To me, Mars is one of the ultimate frontiers for exploration because of the search for life. I think it's the biggest philosophical question of our time, are we alone? And we're going to start to answer this question. Born in Grand Rapids and raised in North Carolina, Cook spent her summers working the family orchard. My time in West Michigan was very formative. I completely credit that for forming my work ethic, for valuing how much you can contribute, not complaining, pitching in, always helping, and really just teamwork in a lot of ways. Cook is a veteran of space flight, having set a record for duration by a female in space, 328 days on the International Space Station in 2019, and taking part in the first all-female spacewalk. The brakes are coming off. Copy. But she says Artemis II will be a mission like no other. The rocket is different. It's a massive moon rocket. It's the most powerful rocket NASA has ever built. That's going to feel very different riding into orbit. On the ISS, I was about 250 miles above the surface of the Earth, and I'm going to go more than a thousand times farther than that on this mission if everything goes as planned. The science tested and the lessons learned aboard Artemis II will take humans one step closer to Mars. Cook also hopes it rekindles a sense of adventure and accomplishment the Apollo program brought more than 50 years ago. Oh, it's beautiful, Mike. It really is. I think that given where we are in the world today, that message could not be more important. That when something is worth doing, when the benefits you get out of it are so great for all of humanity, it's worth coming together and it's worth taking on those challenges. And yes, they can be accomplished. I asked Cook about whether she hopes to one day land on the moon. She says she hasn't thought that far ahead and that her main focus is on making sure Artemis II is a success. Back to you.